a 57 year old female who had abdominal pain persistent for about two years she had had significant weight loss of 20 pounds CT angio showed a hooked appearance of the celiac artery with um, ultrasound duplex confirming increased end expiratory velocities as can be seen the pars flaccid has opened the uh, node overlying the hepatic artery is then dissected um, this node is then dissected away to expose the common hepatic artery junction with the uh, splenic artery. Once this is exposed, then the uh, left gastric vein is then dissected. The uh, common hepatic artery is now in view and the splenic artery confluence can also be seen. The left gastric vein is then identified and dissected. The left gastric artery and vein are usually preserved for this procedure. Occasionally the left gastric vein is ligated if it's in the way of dissection. In this case we uh, dissected the left gastric vein and it appeared to be wrapping around the artery and uh, we uh, proceeded to divide the left gastric vein to facilitate better access to the uh, left gastric artery and the celiac plexus. As can be seen, the left gastric vein is then uh, dissected progressively. A window is made, the left gastric artery is identified and tissue surrounding the left gastric artery is then uh, dissected. All of the nerve tissue around this, it's important to remove as um, the uh, celiac ganglion is also considered the uh, cause of the pain. We can see the celiac ganglion coming in view, which uh, end wraps around the uh, celiac artery. The left gastric vein is then ligated, the celiac artery, the left gastric artery basis identified the uh, tentacles of the celiac ganglion and the nerve fibers are all taken down using the uh, hook artery. Of note, this uh, operation would definitely benefit from a protected hook. There's no such option on the ro robot. To have a protected hook. Um, as can be seen again the celiac fibers are then dissected to um, get this unraveled from around the celiac artery. Once all of this is released the celiac uh, ganglion is excised and sent off for uh, pathological analysis to um, confirm the uh, uh, inflammation and celiac that the celiac ganglion had been removed. The left gastric artery is then looped and uh, traction is done on the uh, left gastric artery. We then proceed to identify the uh, remaining nerve fibers around the uh, celiac artery and this is all progressively removed to expose the um, fibers, the diaphragmatic fibers that overlie the celiac artery. Coming into view is the uh, celiac artery dissection. At this point, clearly um, coming to view is this um, shiny um, compressing median arcuate ligament, as can be seen in this video frame. A lift test is then performed to confirm that this is the uh, median arcuate ligament. And uh, again, a protected hook would be a much better option in this case. The median arcuate ligament is divided. The post dilated celiac artery is seen. 
this is then traced all the way to its origin on the iota. This artery is freed up as can be seen through this uh, we can see clearly the artery branching out from the uh, iota. Once this is uh, clearly visualized and the artery is free, we then finish the case. Total console time is 27 minutes.